that at the same time, or at least shortly after what we heard from President Trump, China has in fact been urging its own companies not to use NVIDIA's H20 chips. Inside these shipping containers sits one of the most powerful technologies ever built, a small square computer chip called the NVIDIA H20. It's designed in the United States, manufactured in Taiwan, and sold to China's largest tech companies. In 2025, China was set to receive around 1.3 million of these chips. Each one was worth thousands of dollars, and together they would fuel China's rapidly growing artificial intelligence industry. Then, without warning, US President Donald Trump blocked the shipment. Why? Because the H20 wasn't just another piece of hardware, it powered AI, and right now, the United States and China are locked in a global race to dominate that technology. Whoever wins could control the world's strongest economy, the most advanced military, and maybe even the flow of information itself. Trump's decision was clear. He wasn't going to help China get there. But just three months later, something strange happened. Trump had dinner with NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Huang. Days later, NVIDIA announced it would resume selling its advanced H20 chips to China. Headlines exploded. The same chips that had been banned were suddenly back in play. Experts called it one of the biggest policy reversals of Trump's second term. So what happened? Why did Trump change his mind? And now that China can buy the chips again? To understand that, imagine the AI race as a car race. The United States and China are both competitors. Both are building the fastest, smartest race cars, meaning the most advanced AI systems in the world. But a race car is only as good as its engine. For AI, that engine is the chip. These tiny slices of silicon, packed with billions of microscopic transistors, control the flow of electricity that allows machines to think. Stack thousands of these chips together, and you can train enormous language models, autonomous systems, and advanced weapons. China builds its own AI chips through companies like Huawei, Biren, and Cambricon. But they are not as powerful as American chips. US chip makers like Nvidia and AMD are still years ahead. That advantage helped American AI companies dominate through the 2010S, creating systems like GPT and Claude that reshaped the world. But because American companies also sold their chips to China, Chinese AI firms stayed close behind. For a while, the race looked almost even. Then, around 2018, Washington realized it might be helping its greatest rival build the very technology that could challenge it. By 2020, Trump's administration began fighting. Chinese companies were banned from using US tools to make their own advanced chips. Then, in 2022, President Joe Biden expanded those rules, making it illegal for US companies to sell their most powerful AI chips to China. Chris McGuire, who worked on AI chip policy under both Trump and Biden, explained it simply. The only area where we have a big advantage over China is hardware. If we want to slow them down, this is our only way to do it. The strategy worked. American AI surged ahead. Chinese AI systems, stuck with older NVIDIA chips or weaker domestic versions, began to fall behind. Experts called it the boiling frog effect. The longer the export controls stayed in place, the further behind China would slip. But there was a price. These restrictions cost American chip companies billions, especially Nvidia, the undisputed king of AI hardware. Only a decade earlier, Nvidia was known mostly for video game graphics, but researchers discovered that its chips were perfect for AI because they could handle thousands of calculations at once. That discovery gave Nvidia an early lead in the AI boom. By 2023, NVIDIA controlled over 90% of the AI data center chip market. The world's most advanced AI models, ChatGPT, Gemini, and Claude, all ran on NVIDIA hardware. Their chips became the backbone of modern computing, and they were in high demand in China. Even Chinese military documents specifically asked for NVIDIA chips by name. Before the Biden restrictions, 22% of NVIDIA's total revenue came from Chinese buyers. Afterward, that number dropped to 13%. Billions in profit vanished overnight. Nvidia had to find a loophole. Biden's rules were clear. US companies couldn't sell chips above a certain performance threshold. Nvidia found a clever way around that. It took its most powerful model, the H100, 
and weakened it slightly, reducing its power and connection speed just enough to meet the legal limit. That new chip was called the H800. It wasn't quite as strong, but it was still fast enough to train large AI systems. Chinese companies bought all they could get. Then, when the Biden administration tightened the restrictions again, Nvidia released another downgraded chip, the H20. It wasn't as powerful as the original, but it was incredibly efficient for running AI systems at scale. Chinese firms loved it. By early 2025, companies across China were using H20S to build new AI models. One company, DeepSeek, stunned global researchers by claiming its models could outperform even OpenAI's latest systems. The secret, NVIDIA H800S and H20S. The progress was shocking. For the first time in years, Chinese AI seemed to be catching up again. So in April 2025, Trump's administration reimposed the ban, this time directly targeting the H20. Nvidia's business in China collapsed again. But Jensen Huang wasn't done. Huang met Trump, presenting a bold argument. Selling chips to China, he said, wasn't helping them. It was controlling them. Days later, Trump reversed the ban. Nvidia could sell H20S to China again. Publicly, the reason was economic. The sales could bring billions into the US economy. And Trump negotiated a 15% cut of all of Nvidia's China sales to go directly to the US Treasury. The markets loved it. Nvidia's stock hit new highs. But the deeper argument was strategic. Some US officials believed selling limited chips to China could create a kind of addiction. If Chinese AI developers built their entire infrastructure on NVIDIA chips, they would be stuck using American technology for years. Each upgrade would keep them dependent on the US. If they get addicted to our tech stack, one expert said, we control the race. It sounded clever, but there was one big problem. It assumed China would let its own chip makers fall behind. That's not how China operates. Beijing has poured tens of billions into its semiconductor industry. It's forcing companies to use at least 50% Chinese-made chips, even if they're slower. President Xi Jinping has made technological independence one of the country's priorities. That means the addiction plan won't last. Chinese chips may lag today, but they're improving fast. Once they're good enough, China will stop buying Nvidia altogether. Experts warn that Trump's reversal may actually help China bridge the gap. By giving them a steady supply of H20S, the US is allowing Chinese AI firms to keep up, just long enough for their domestic chip makers to catch up. In other words, the H20 could become the bridge to a future where China no longer needs US technology at all. As one former US defense analyst said, we shouldn't be helping them execute their playbook. And that's exactly what we're doing. Now, things are even riskier. Trump is reportedly considering letting Nvidia sell an even more advanced chip to China, the Blackwell, or B30. It's 12 times more powerful and 11 times faster than the H20. Giving China access to it would effectively erase America's hardware advantage overnight. If that happens, China's AI systems could quickly match or even surpass America's. And if China pulls ahead, it wouldn't just mean better chatbots or smarter search engines. It would mean dominance in cybersecurity, automation, and defense. Because in the 21st century, whoever leads in AI leads in everything. Meanwhile, China is applying pressure. Reports suggest Beijing is banning its AI firms from buying NVIDIA chips, claiming that new Chinese chips are already comparable to the H20. But analysts think this might be a negotiation tactic, an attempt to pressure Nvidia and Trump into releasing the Blackwell chips. It's a high stakes game of bluff and leverage. Trump wants trade deals, China wants the chips, Nvidia wants profits. And in the middle of all that, the world's balance of technological power hangs in the air. If Trump gives in and allows Nvidia to export the Blackwell, experts say the US could lose its AI lead within a few years. But if he doesn't, the global tech industry could fracture even further, with China building its own fully isolated AI ecosystem, independent of the West. Right now, both outcomes seem possible. The AI race is closer than ever. America has the lead, but barely. Every new policy, every negotiation, 
Even one dinner between a president and a CEO could decide who wins. Because this isn't a hypothetical future anymore. The AI race is happening now, in real time. And what's at stake isn't just technology, it's global power. One side will lead the next century. The other will spend it catching up. And it might all come down to a single chip. Thanks for watching. We explore the connections between power, technology, and the people shaping the world. Subscribe for deeper dives into the biggest stories shaping our future.